Oh my gosh, it's it's actually happening. It's Bristol Motor Speedway, everybody. This is this has been on my bucket list since I was eight years old. And it's been on Natalie's bucket list since like maybe last month. <laughs> this is incredible. Myself, as well as a few other well-known NASCAR YouTube personalities are at this race. Some of them have been here a couple days. We're just here for the Saturday night main event cup race. But if you're gonna go to Bristol, and you should, you gotta go to the night race. The half mile of mayhem, Thunder Valley, the last great Coliseum. This place has too many nicknames to count. We've got garage passes, we've got a ton of hookups, so follow along. This is gonna be quite the journey. I'm, like I said, I've been dreaming of this day since I was about eight years old. So join me and let's have an amazing freaking afternoon. This is beautiful. The group's all here. Oh, say hi, everybody. Say, say hi. <laughs> This is, Woo, this is gonna be the thumbnail or something probably. Very different from Texas. Kind of feels like just a lot of individual tents and vendors and everything. Hello. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly here. Looking inside some of these tents, a lot of them have cool retro throwback, you know, artwork, die casts. These are all five dollars each. Look at some of these things you can get. Lots of Terry Labonte. Might have to get him. He's from Texas. Dang yeah, if you ever needed some old school die cast, man, these places, these places have you covered. Oh my gosh, they got an E.T. Kevin Harvick with the hood and everything. Oh, this is this is nice. And they've got plenty of 124 scale die cast, newer ones, older ones, all that type of stuff. Freaking wild, man. And pretty good deals on a lot of them, you know? Not 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 too shabby. And they have a ton of these types of places across the street even. Hopefully we have some time to go check out a few of them because I'm being told that there are a lot of awesome deals and hard to find things. So we'll, we'll have to check them out. But be aware, if you're coming to Bristol, they have a lot of merchandise everywhere. Welcome, we're here to exceed your expectations. I mean, they're already pretty much uh, blowing my mind right now. Now over here is where they do have a lot of the driver merchandise haulers. Oh boy guys, Deacon's already got her own hauler. Oh goodness, there we go. It's Bristol, baby. There's a lot more spaced out than it is in Texas, but it's also not streamlined. I, mean, I can really only base this off of Texas because that's the only other track I've been to recently. Uh, but this is this is kind of cool. We're all right outside of, I don't know what turn this is. Is this turn one? It's the Rusty Wallace Tower, I guess. But we've got pretty much all of the NASCAR YouTube community. Hi, Joseph. Dueling vlogs. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, wait. Whoa, what? Nope, no time. <laughs> I'm not that tall. Every, everybody vlog. This is 2019. Everybody pull out a camera. Everybody, there we go. I like it. I like it. Everybody, everybody vlog. Everybody vlog. Oh my God. We're the people that everyone else hates, but it's fun. Having fun? Yeah. Ford Performance Hauler seems to have the Roush stuff. Does Roush not have their own hauler? Is it just the Ford hauler? You know what's interesting about this is that's the Chevy hauler. They got like all this. Oh yeah, and then the Chevy has all the extra Chevy boys. The Ganassi guys, uh, everybody else. Do you remember back when they used to have like every driver, literally even like the 20th place driver oh, had their yeah. own hauler? Paul Menard had his own hauler in like 2007. Can you believe that? Getting a look at the suspension. <laughs> we don't know what he's doing. Is he spying on, on this <laughs> Dale Jr. suspension? <laughs> this is pretty cool though. Wow, haven't seen one of these in person in a while. Oh what, they let you climb out the window? Oh that's fun. Get the authentic NASCAR driver experience. You're going in the window, you're going out the window. This is so freaking cool, so intimidating. Oh my gosh. I just can't get over the fact that we're actually here. I'm, this is still insane to me. I, I'm afraid to go in. I might not be able to keep my eyes open. I might be just, I might just faint, pass out. Food city. Look at that. We've got a meetup schedule here in just uh, about a half an hour. Hopefully you're going to see a bunch of fans out there. We'll see. Maybe only like 10 people show up. That'll be fine. Oh, Joseph signing a flag. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shoot. We're all signing. Oh, goodness. This is going to be a crowded flag right here. Signing hats and everything. This is so cool. And the meetup hasn't even started yet. I feel bad. I forgot to bring Sharpies. Luckily, the rest of these guys have me covered. All right. We just ran to a bunch of people before the meetup. Now it's time for the actual main event. This has never happened before. We've all really just known each other for maybe about a year and a half. Uh, many of us haven't even been making videos more than a couple of years, but uh, this is a long time coming. I think this has been a long time in the works, and we're really excited to meet all of the people, or a bunch of the people, who have supported us over the many years. I'm, seriously, I'm hoping there's more than like 20 people there. That'll be embarrassing. Boy, like our parents show up or something. <laughs> Hopefully we can do some more of these meetups in the not so distant future. I'd love to travel around the country meeting people. Sharing all the things that make NASCAR fun with you guys. That's what I love doing on here and that's what I hope these meetups uh, accomplish. And here we go. This is where the meetup's gonna be happening here in just a short while. What the heck? When did they get a Joe Gibbs version of these? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Why? Why would you do this to me? This is awesome. Oh my goodness, the whole crowd. It's officially a party. Got people walking up all over the place. Corey LaJoy stopping by the, the meetup. This is, this is legit now. We have a, we got, this is, we've achieved that next level of legitness. Here. Yeah. So, we are legit. This is awesome. I have to catch my breath for a second. We've had like at least 20 or 30 of you guys, maybe more, come up and say hi. This is this is an awesome deal right here. I think first ever YouTube meetup might be a success. We got a line of people waiting to meet the NASCAR YouTubers. What do you think, Joseph? You got a really conflicting uh, outfit here. You got the Jeff Gordon and the Dale Earnhardt. And the Dale Earnhardt. By the way, I just got gifts from fans, too. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, awesome. our birthday's on Tuesday, so we just got Oh, happy early birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've been here for about 45 minutes. Uh, at least a couple hundred people have probably come up to say hi or to get the free samples, to get pictures, to get autographs even. Uh, I didn't expect this kind of turnout. You guys are absolutely incredible. Danny, Danny B, what would you think? What do you think about this meetup? Would you call this a success? It's a success. It's also madness and uh, I'm just like, Ooh. I know, it's a lot to it's a lot to handle all at once, but this has been awesome. It's been amazing. Well we'll have to do it again next year. Or sooner. Sooner maybe. Darren out here. Oh my goodness. Hello. Nice to meet you. This is so awesome. I've run into a couple people that have said that like my videos, these guys' videos, got them into NASCAR. That's what this is all about. This is what all this is about. Getting new fans interested in our favorite sport. <laughs> I love the energy. I've been out here for an hour and they still are as wild as ever. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I think it's safe to say this was a success. Yeah. You had fun? I'm having a freaking blast. <laughs> Me too. All right, meetup is over. That was a historic occasion. We're heading to get our credentials now so we can head on to the infield. Huge thank you to anyone and everyone who came out to say hi to us. I don't know how many people. How many people do you guys think we had at that meetup? Uh, a lot. A lot. At least probably 100, maybe 200 people at, at, over the course. A lot. It was, it was pretty chaotic. It was a lot to keep track of, but thank you to everyone who came out and saw us. If you couldn't make it out, maybe we'll do this again near you sometime pretty soon. We'll keep, keep a lookout. Still walking around right here, the trackside live stage. You can get your scanners. They have a bounce house? What the heck? Texas Motor Speedway doesn't have a bounce house? What the? They got a rock wall. Oh my goodness. All right, so I know the Bristol Night Race is a bigger event than any race at Texas Motor Speedway, but I will say they have this, they have just a much bigger and just crazier setup here. There's way more stuff to see, way more stuff to do. You could spend, you have to be here the whole weekend to see it all. And you may still not see it all, even then. Looks like they're just now letting a bunch of the crew guys into the garage. You can see all these guys, most of these guys at least are in uniform. That's cool. We're in there. Hot pass. Look at my, look at this handwriting she had. I like that. My name's never looked better. Look at that gold. Ooh, I like that a lot. This is gonna be fun. Okay, we've got our pass. We're going in, boys. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is unreal. Holy. Oh my gosh, this is, this is everything. This is absolutely beautiful. This is, did I just die? Is this heaven? Okay, let's go down onto this super steep bank. I have no idea what turn this is. I guess it's turn three, because I don't see a start finish line. We're in turn three, boys. Oh my gosh, on track, the concrete. I'm trying to hold the camera straight so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what the banking's like here. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. This is, this is all I ever believed it could be. This is absolutely insane, y'all. I, I literally don't have words. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is, this is so amazing. So much NASCAR greatness jam-packed into a tiny little space. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna have to look around. We're gonna have some fun in here. Along the front stretch here, they've got already a stage and everything set up for, you know, concert driver intros. Not a lot of people in the stands yet, but it's only two o'clock. The race is not for literally five and a half hours. All right, so we're gonna walk around the main view here of a bunch of race cars. First one, Josh Bilicki, Rick Ware Racing. Oh, that's nice. Right next to them, the two RCR haulers. Oh, they look all nice and matching. I haven't been in the garage on pit road like this since Texas back in April, so uh, this, is, this is as good as I remember it. Actually, that Texas race was in March. I forgot about that this year. Oh, it's much tighter here in Bristol, though. Not, a lot, not nearly as much space. Also, I noticed a lot of the race cars are up here on the trucks, on the haulers, but covered. Oh, that's nice. Bubba's in the US Air Force car. That is... That is so cool. What do you think of that car? That one's really nice. I like how every time I point the camera at you, you back up. Like it's... I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> There's my new friend, Corey LaJoy's 32 car parked. See, look how, look how little space there is. There's barely room to walk alongside it. The sun's finally starting to go down behind some clouds. I can, oh, 
You're gonna take off the sunglasses. Also a reminder, many of the drivers have hero cards free for you to pick up right outside their haulers. So take advantage of that if you ever have the ever have garage access. Got some cars going through inspection back behind me there. You have Priest right there, behind him Menards lined up. Oh, is that LaJoy as well? On the other side, facing the backstretch pit road, a few cars are already lined up. De Benedetto over there. Oh, here's Eric Jones in the Stanley Colors. I see Blaney back there. This would be a crazy spot to watch the race from. You just see him take off out into that banking like that. Oh, especially if the High Line gets worked in. That's insane. Lots of hustling and bustling, fans coming by, crew guys coming by, some of them have equipment. Gotta keep your head on a swivel. Hendrick Rowe right here, Elliot Bowman, then you got William Byron, and then out here visible for all to see is Jimmy Jameson's Ally car. And once again, hero cards for most of the drivers. SHR haulers, a lot of the cars are kind of just all over the place. Many are on pit road. Let's see, let's see if we can see some of these. It's kind of a free for all out here. You can't just walk wherever there's space. Whoa, okay. So there's Alex Bowman's 88. There's Blaney on down. You got Almarola right here. That's a cool shot right there. Oh my gosh, just this wall is the only thing separating me from them. That's pretty cool that you can get right up close to them. Oh, here are the Joe Gibbs trucks and haulers. The only driver I've seen walking around right now is Josh Balicki. Uh, but sometimes, I know Saturday, the day of the race, a lot of times drivers are kind of taking their private time. They got a lot of uh, commitments, so they're not always out and about just signing for people during the day, but uh, I mean, there are some drivers. You can sometimes catch some drivers walking around the garage area. Wheel and Matt Tift on by. Kyle Busch is also being pushed somewhere. Lots of cool stuff, and I'm sure as we get closer to race time, it's gonna just fill in with more and more people, more and more rustling and hustling and bustling. But right now, it's extremely hot, but it's pretty chill. And it's Ryan Vargas. <laughs> we are here at Bristol. Yeah. See, he makes it look like he's taller. No, see here. I'm... I'm, now he's at. He's now at my <laughs> eye level. Yeah, he's like up here. But anyways, uh, we're at Bristol. It's a night race. Yeah. There's already a lot of people outside. Like literally, we started, we sat in traffic for like an hour. Yeah. And it's like. Seven, I heard. I heard the the ticket offices were getting too many calls. They couldn't take all of them. That's so awesome. I know that's like shades of old Bristol right there. That's all. I mean, I. Should, I mean, I. I kind of expect it. Not gonna lie. I, I mean, it deserves it. I mean, look at this place. There's a lot of hype around this race this year. Uh, this year has been really, real big, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. They have Logano, Harvick. They got a lot more cars out here than I realized initially. They aren't really letting you walk on pit road right now, but you can walk right along the edge of the track here. That's what we're gonna do. I think we're allowed to just like slide under here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Whoops. Oh, I forgot. Even the front straightaway has significant amount of banking on it. Oh. Look at all the cars. Look at that Hooters car. What the heck? Standing right here along the inside safer barrier. Pretty cool. Hemmerich's car looks pretty nice during the day, but I'm excited to see that baby at night. That's gonna be cool. We're walking around this place clockwise, which is the wrong way to go. But we are doing it. This is so crazy. This banking on the straightaway. Got out of the sun for a minute underneath the grandstands here. Uh, very similar looking to Texas Motor Speedway. Must be an SMI thing. Gonna go take a little break, go chill, maybe out in the campground area, maybe look around a little bit more, uh, and then we'll be back. We gotta figure out when things like the driver's meeting are, when the introductions are and everything. We gotta, gotta figure out where everything is and what the best stuff to see is, because it's the first time been to this track, kind of figuring it out on the fly. Next time we come here, we'll probably uh, make sure we hit up everything. If we can find out where it is, we might stop by the Jeff Gluck, Bob Pockris tweet up area, see what's going on over there. So these are the merchandise tents and everything that I was talking about earlier. On that side of the track, you got more official merch, you know, official vendors and everything. But over here, you might be able to find some pretty good deals on some NASCAR stuff. Oh, but it's hard to not get sucked in here. Oh. But no, alas, I do not have enough time to look at every single thing. Oh yeah, big crowd of people over here. This looks kind of fun. Hey, let's stop by. There's Bob Parker in the middle doing his thing. Hey, Ty Dillon's here. Hey, look at that. It's fun. Kind of interesting, Ty Dillon gets like, he has a golf cart ready for his escape from the crowd. That's fun, that's cool. <laughs> Jump on, Ty! Gosh, didn't get it on video because I'm an idiot, but got to talk to uh, Jeff Gluck, Bob Pockers for a minute. Uh, not about anything too new or crazy or breaking, uh, but it was fun. Very cool that they do those tweet-ups at pretty much every race on the schedule, every Cup Series race. Uh, keep an eye out, follow them on Twitter and everything, and they are always doing meetups with fans, often have drivers out, uh, so big shout out to them. They, are, they do awesome work, they're keeping the sport afloat. All right, so I think we're gonna head back into the track now, uh, probably down onto the infield. Maybe we'll link back up with some of our YouTube friends. For reference, it's now a little after 5 p.m. Uh, I think the driver's meeting is happening at a nearby. I don't know if we're allowed to go to it, so uh, we're not gonna walk all the way down there. We're just gonna go hang out on the infield. We'll see if uh, business has picked up since we were down there a couple hours ago. All right, boys, going back in. Gate nine, 
probably for the last time. We're probably not coming back. Today at least, but we'll probably be back here again, maybe next year. Well, we're going through like a tunnel this time, I guess, to get to the infield. We're not going out on the track like we did before. All right, let's see how many more people are in the stands. Uh, well, yeah, more, I guess more. It's still, I guess it's still two and a half hours till the race. But we're back on the infield, back in the garage area. Uh, let's see what's going on now. Definitely more fans out here now than earlier, but there's less crew guys. There still are crew guys, but now most of the cars are on the grid, so not a lot for crew guys to be doing back here. Daniel Suarez's pit box, Jimmy Johnson's right there, and you can see just on the other side of that wall, race cars lined up and ready to go. I know this video maybe isn't quite as informative as some of the ones I've done at Texas, but I'm still new to this place too. I'm figuring it out. Got a big track sweeper right here, trying to pinch me against this fire truck. That's what I'm saying, you gotta have your head on a swivel around here. Moved around to the front stretch. The cars are all parked along the back stretch, but this is actually the front straightaway right here. You got Eric Almarola's box, Bubba Wallace, Alex Bowman, Michael McDowell, and then the stage that they're doing the pre-race concert, and I think driver intros is just up ahead. I don't actually know where the driver intros are gonna happen, but we definitely wanna watch some of those. Oh boy, we found our people again. Oh, Eric! Hey! How's it going, y'all? So we're all just chilling right now. You got Elijah Burke back there. You see Ryan Vargas. Right there, podcast guys, we're all just hanging out. Still seeing fans, fans still coming up asking for pictures. This is absolutely insane, you guys. The sun is finally starting to go down a little bit. The back stretch here is mostly in shadow. Crowd is starting to fill in. We still have about 20 minutes till driver intros. Tires coming through right here. A lot of the cars are now out on pit road. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a large crowd over here by uh, turn three. Not sure if this is where it's happening. They're bringing in the pickup trucks for driver intros, coming out through this gate here. Kyle Busch in the bright yellow, hard to miss him. That's cool, they just walk right into the garage, man. That, I mean, they're gonna get mobbed, that is crazy. I can't. When Chase Elliott, if he comes down through there, they gotta have like special security for a chase. Whoever Dale Jr. hired as security all the years he came here, that's who Chase Elliott needs to hire. Probably actually, probably who Kyle Busch should have hired. He's really playing it. He's playing it very unsafe walking through a crowd like this. Did you get it? Oh, you did. I had to work for that. Oh, you did. That, I got that... a workout in to get Kyle Busch done. <laughs> here comes Paul Menard walking by. There he goes. Thanks, man. Let's do the same Vegas too. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks, man. Get that win today. Thanks, man. <laughs> Good luck tonight, Jimmy. Oh, my camera work was terrible. I was way too zoomed in. Rivik skipped the autograph line, as is his usual. Also, William Byron did not either. Harvick. When I was at Texas in March, Harvick didn't sign for anybody. He actively would shoot people away. I don't know. I'm not a Harvick hater, but I don't know. Austin Dillon. Daniel Suarez, oh, I like that final suit a ton for Suarez. Yeah, Truex, oh, that's cute. I missed it, Keselowski just walked up there to check out how rubbered in the top line is. He's still checking it out. Brad Keselowski wants to make sure that high line's gonna work for him. All right, well this is pretty cool. We might wanna skadoodle over there to the stage to then see the actual driver intros. Now I will say, I'm not sure how much of intros I'll be able to film because for this race, they let the drivers pick their intro music and I'm sure they're gonna pick a lot of copyrighted music. So I might only be able to show snippets. Any Racing Wives fans? There you go. All right, we're almost to the stage and there is a huge crowd of people. I'm not sure how, how good our spot's gonna be here. Here comes Kyle Busch. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. He's in a rocky gear. It's Matt DiBenedetto. It's The Undertaker. I love it so much. It's Kurt Busch. Whoa. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. Well, that was awesome. Let's, let's get ready for 500 laps around this place. I don't think I can take it, but let's do it. This looks so surreal. We're gonna spend the first little bit of the race, I think, down in the pits, watching from eye level. And then we'll probably move up a little later in this race and get the view from above. We got two tickets up somewhere in these grandstands. I don't know exactly where, so we'll have some cool angles of tonight's race. I am excited. This is, I told you guys at the very beginning of this video, I've been dreaming of this since I was about eight years old. Since the first time I saw Bristol on TV, I knew I had to come see this race in person one day. 
Uh, honestly, if I could put a date on it, probably 2005. Matt Kenseth won here, dominated that race, and I remember watching it then. The race was amazing to watch. I knew right then I had to come to this track at some point, and it took, it took almost 15 years since that race specifically to get here, but it's, uh, I don't know, this is everything I dreamed it would be, so follow along. We got 500 laps of craziness to watch. the mad traffic dash back out into the parking lot. Oh, I, I don't know if you guys can see it, you probably can. I look like I'm dripping sweat visibly on camera right now. I'm exhausted. Thank you for visiting Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh, you're welcome. There's a good chance I will be back. All right, Bristol race review time. In the car, uh, we're sitting in traffic. There's no way we're gonna get out of here for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. This is gonna suck. Uh, but all right, talking about that race, so 
Bristol Motor Speedway. It lived up to the hype. Sitting up where we were, up high, up in the, I don't know where we were. I think the, I think we're in the Pearson Tower. I don't really know that. I wish they wouldn't name their sections like that. Just name it section like 120, 124, 128. Like, so I know where I am. I had to like guess where Petty was and never mind. Never mind. That's neither here nor there. Uh, as for the race itself, I was focused on the finish. I was hoping Matt Benedetto would hold him off. Um, well, before that, I guess I was torn whether or not I wanted Eric Jones to hold on and win or if I wanted Benedetto to go win. That would have been crazy. Benedetto winning would have shook up the playoff grid. Huge for him given his announcement this week that Levine's basically letting him go. Toyota's basically letting him go. So uh, when Jones obviously put himself on the wall, I was like, all right, let's go, Joe. Let's go, Benedetto. And it sucks that uh, if Newman hadn't held him up there for those that lap or two, like, I don't know, I think Domenedetto would have had a real shot at it, but I don't know, it just is what it is. Uh, still a great race, it's one of those, you know, you love the battle, you hate the result, and uh, and I think this that sums us up perfectly. I've been to two races this year, and Hamlin won both of them. So, Denny Hamlin fans, if you want your guy to win races, well, call me up. Give me give me a ticket to the race. I, <laughs> I think it's basically a done deal at this point. But uh, anyway, y'all, thanks as always for watching and following along on this journey. Really was cool to meet so many of you. Meet this is a, by far a record for people that, that have recognized me on a racetrack. I, we probably I probably met 70 or 80 people today at least. Um, it was an amazing experience, once in a lifetime experience. But hopefully, hopefully we can still somehow duplicate this down the line. Uh, uh, you guys are the best, so thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again with more of our regularly scheduled programming very shortly. Bye-bye, everyone. It's Bristol, baby! <laughs> and now we're in traffic for probably three hours. Woo!